I use this is a this is like a brush for cats, the typical nail clipper, and just sharp, short scissors. Um, and these are my scissor sharpener. I just do that a few times, and it sharpens the scissors. Uh, in between haircuts, I don't really brush them much. Some of them need it occasionally. Her coat is starting to mat. She is. Um, she actually has a coat that is considered pluckable, and by pluckable, I mean you can just reach in here and pull it. Oh. And it does not hurt her because it's already shedding. So that's why that came off. She just it, it just fell off her again. So she's ready for this to come off. Want to feel this? Just pass it around. Good Madeline. And she's a little bit. You could also you could also brush it off her like this. And this is spinnable. You can actually spin this into yarn. Where's the rain? No. Something to put her fiber through. Oh, they're white. They're black. Poodles? <laughs> now they have long, long hair and the tail curls around. They put it on the back. And then they have to tie up the eyes to show them. They tie up the, eye, the hair so the eyes are showing. You gotta put it in the bag. You can pass it around. It's not like I don't think you have to do it. This particular rabbit typically will produce about six to eight ounces of fiber per clip, um, but most of mine will produce eight to fourteen ounces. And you get an idea of how much. This is two ounces, and I get that every every three months from each rabbit. So I'm kind of drowning in Angora. <laughs> and 18. There may be more when I get home. <laughs> so anyway, I start by giving her a little bit of petting to reassure her that I'm not here to hurt her. And with rabbits, yeah. stroking their foreheads like this, almost hypnotizes them and they some of them I've had some just fall asleep and this sleep with the little cheering. Um, I don't know if she would do that or not but anyway so then I gently turn them over <laughs> yeah. now she had a little earlier she got a really messy bottom so I trimmed this off um, but I needed again. I said, you know, she was the only one that was, had enough coat to make this a demonstration. Yeah, I can. I adjust her so that I can see her skin line here. I make a part, and just start trimming through it. Okay. 
I just always thought you have to get a special kind. She was showing that you can, she can pull so for all fine that way too. That it, it um, mucks up most shears and uh, that special kind is from Germany and very expensive and you end up having to use scissors on various parts of it anyway so I just stick with scissors. But I know a lot